India is also to unleash its fifth plus generation fighter jet for the Indian Air Force to have an upper hand against China. And also, many countries are willing to buy India's Tejas fighter jet. The Indian Air Force Chief Badore shed some light on India's fifth plus generation fighter jet program. The IAF AMCA projects being progressed by the Aeronautical Development Agency or the IDA, along with DRDO, is expected to be a twin engine multi role stealth fighter jet aircraft, with a first flight within the next five years. According to the Indian Air Force Chief, the fighter jet would incorporate the latest six gen technologies within the airframe making it an advanced state-of-the-art aircraft comparable to any such aircraft in its league worldwide. Although being tight-lipped, Mr. Bharati told that the service is looking forward to the aircraft incorporating sixth-generation features, keeping in mind the future development of the aircraft and its usability with the Indian Air Force. But he also said, Indian Air Force's present vision is to incorporate the latest technologies and sensors in the fifth generation aircraft, making it as a fifth plus generation aircraft. He also acknowledged that India has started the work later than most other countries, and thus it would be imperative to incorporate the higher generation technologies. The Indian aviation manufacturing industry, the state-owned Hindustan Analytical Limited, has been coping hardly with the development and production of the light combat aircraft Tejas MK-1, Tejas MK-1A, and now focusing on the prototype and testing of the Tejas MK-2, and improvised the single-engine fourth plus plus generation aircraft of MK-1A. It is believed that the experience gained by the development of Tejas project would enable the Indian designers to prepare for the bigger leap into the stealth technology and beyond. The Air Force Chief of India also commanded the successful completion of the joint Indo-French exercise where the participation of the both Indian and the French Afail fighter jets were involved. Badori said that when the Indian Air Force received their Afail fighter jet, the priority was to operationalize it and integrate it with the existing combat fleet of Indian Air Force. The service has successfully achieved that in a short time, and the joint exercise, which involved the fighter jets including the Sukhai 30MK and Mirage 2000i, was a live example of the integration and interoperability with the Indian Air Force. Interestingly, the cooperation with the France has also brought a much needed boost for the AMCA project for its engine as it is being said that the aircraft is likely to sport an indigenously developed cover engine whose development would be aided by the French company Safran. The delivery of the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft or the LCA to the Indian Air Force under a 48,000 crore rupees deal will begin from March 2024. In an interview to the Indian media, an official of India said that several countries have shown keen interest in procurement of the Tejas aircraft and that the first export order is likely to come by in the next couple of years. So what do you think of India is going beyond the fifth generation to become a fifth plus generation fighter jet program and making and developing within the five years frame, while the Tejas is being hunted for other countries for a sale pitch. India gets its first bunch of Rafale jets, and China warns India on banning the Chinese business in India. While the Pakistan is proved about India getting the Rafale jets, India's new bullet trains are going to have seven new routes in coming years. While India gets its Rafale jets few days before, which landed in the Ambala Air Force Base in India. The delivery of the five jets came at the time that India-China standoff is getting into a two-front battle for India. There are other five jets operated in the France for the training purposes. Out of 36, 
fight delivered and other to come before the end of 2020. The jet has the capabilities to launch the nuclear defense system without entering the enemy border. It can launch up to 150 kilometers and also has the capability of launching air to land and air to air missile capabilities. Now, the delivery of the French Rafale jets to India spoke Pakistan and they are worried about it. Aisha Farooqi, the spokesperson of Pakistan Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said. The world community should take note about India's efforts to amass the military capabilities beyond its genuine security requirements. This statement is one of Pakistan's campaigns against India to the world which PM of Pakistan Imran Khan has started a few days before. As if China and the US and other countries does not have increased their military requirements more than they wanted. In addition to this, India has deployed all of its frontline navy ships to the Indian Ocean with readiness of nuclear capabilities too. Now India is also keen to getting on its third aircraft carrier which has to be started. Due to this lockdown, the inducting of its second aircraft carrier is pending at its trial. Indian Air Force and the Indian Navy have already deployed all of its front lines, jets and ships to the Indian Ocean and to the Pakistan-India-China border. While these happening, China has warned India on the banning of Chinese companies and businesses in India. The Chinese ambassador Sun Waidang said, forced decoupling will only lead to their lose-lose outcomes while he was addressing a webinar in the Chinese Institute. India's new bullet trains are going to have seven new routes in coming years. As per the report, Indian Railway is planning to run the bullet train on seven important routes of the country. The railway board has also written in high and given the details of the seven high-speed rail corridor for runway bullet trains. According to the former Air Chief Marshal of India, Birender Singh said while talking to the Hindustan Times, China cannot outgun India in any situations, even if they attack our bases. They cannot keep any of our Air Force bases shut down for 24 hours. For that, they need so much firepower missiles of 666 at least, while the Chinese total missile power is around 1000 to 1200. Even he said Indian Air Force can hover over Tibet border and enter China's Han province too. The Rafale and the Sukhai jets has the total capabilities of that. So what do you think of China wants India while well, Pakistan is spooked about Rafale landing in India? Will the Indian Air Force cross border the Chinese occupied Tibet and reach Han if the situation moves the other way? Thank you.